We are recording. As many of you might know, content is my passion, boy. Since 2013, I started racking up the film festivals, had videos shown at World Congress and Health to the Canadian government. And then I was like, yo, I don't want to be this starving filmmaker that has no money. Maybe I should actually learn how to market these videos. And so I did. Now all the content that I'm making today has been more focused towards, you know, my clients and less on myself. However, it's come to my attention by a client. <laughs> How am I actually going to be leveraging this this content and posting this content on a schedule and, and making sure that it's, it's hitting my audience for maximum efficiency? The most, literally the most basic tool that you can ever use that will save you so much time is using a tool like later.com. Do not, do not, do not manually post things yourself. You can't rely on yourself to do that. It just doesn't work. So what you can do is log into later.com and drag in your videos, drag in your photos for the days of the week that you actually want to post it, rewrite your captions, your hashtags, everything like that in advance, spend an hour doing that in a month, and then you're good. You're good for that month. So really when it comes to like posting times and like posting days of the week and stuff like that, it, it, to be frankly honest, it really doesn't matter that much. But if you are really trying to stretch this to the best of your abilities, I would recommend posting at least twice a week on Instagram, twice a week on Facebook. For Instagram, post at 11 a.m. For Facebook, post at 2 p.m. Those are the times of the day where both platforms have the most activity. So you're probably gonna get the highest chance of actually getting you know, a return on engagement there. Now when it comes to the caption, this is just as important as the content that you're posting, 100%. You have to be very strategic with the caption that you're putting on this because you could take it in a variety of ways. Yeah! In some of these, in some of these. Almost there and... Done. <sighs> now let's see how it looks so far. The... But what really has been working over and over again and what copywriters do that are paid millions and millions of dollars for these Instagram accounts is share stories. Pretty much you just want to share some kind of story, whether that's a personal story or a story that you got out of a book that really gets the person who's reading it to drive an action, whether that's a comment, a like, or some kind of like call me, you know, click the link in my bio, something like that. I'd say make like 60% of your caption stories and make the rest just like short form, like Saturday with the boys <laughs> stuff, you know? Saturday with the boys! <laughs> Now let's talk about hashtags, including them. You don't have to put hashtags in your posts. Honestly, it's not gonna make the biggest impact at the end of the day. But again, if you're just trying to maximize the efficiency of this, um, hashtags will help a bit. So what you can do to find better hashtags is go to the people in your space that you wanna be like, you know, whether that's a competitor or a leader, and just copy their hashtags that they're using, throw that into your account. <laughs> You want to make sure that the hashtags that you're using aren't so popular that you'll go unnoticed but aren't so unknown that no one's searching for them. I would generally recommend a hashtag that's been hashtagged around 100,000 to 500,000 times. Over that, you're not really going to be seen. Under that, again, no one's searching for it. And then last one is promotion. Promote the out of your post, okay? Stories will be a massive driver to bringing audience members to your post because more people see your story than actually see your native feed. So go on your story, promote the post with like a picture of the post or whatever, or maybe even a video of you just talking to the camera, talking about what you just posted, telling people to go check it out. Leave a like, comment, what are your thoughts? Ask people for their engagement. Ask people for their reasons why they're following you. Like ask people to engage with the post. You have to ask for these things. The other facet is something like email. Now that you have this video, take this into an email campaign, send it out to people just as a value add and say, hey, like I just filmed this video, it's super awesome, it's gonna give you X, Y, Z, check it out, I hope you like it, thank you, right? That's gonna give a lot more traffic to your page as well. Another thing that you can actually do that really works to promote posts is do like little giveaways in the captions. Not giveaways that you're thinking, like a, we will e-transfer you 15 bucks, 10 bucks to anyone who can answer this question, leave your replies down below. Or will you transfer someone 50 bucks if they tag three friends and leave their number one reason why they love me? I don't know. <laughs> At the end of the day, you're trying to bring engagement. If you're just posting without asking people to engage or giving them reason to engage, they're not gonna engage. So ask them to engage. 
and for a f and pretty much for a free simplified structure, that's it. Okay, I'm going to ask you to engage right now. I want you to go to this account, send me a message, let me know what you thought of this video, ask me a question, and we can have a conversation. Does that sound good? Awesome, guys. I appreciate you watching, and I will catch you guys all later.